So I got snowflakes falling beautifully. But I got this idea. What if instead of the snowflakes falling from the top to the bottom, they moved from the center to any of the edges, or not directly to the edges, but like in a circle outside following the radiance, if you like. And I do know how to move in any direction using the wonderful tools of the math package. So now I just need to start the snowflakes in the center, calculate a random direction and get them moving. So let's get going. Find the center. The center. The center x value would be half the width of the canvas. And the center y position would be half the height of the very same canvas. Just for fun, let's create each snowflake with this center x and center y and not use the x and y here, but rather in the constructor get an x and a y value and they use it for setting this x would be x and this y would be y. Now they all move from the center. They still move down, we want to move them in a random direction. So let's calculate a random direction. This direction, that will then be a random number between 0 and since it's in a circle and the circle is 2 pi, we will say math, not math, math pi times 2. That will be a random direction in any way around the circle. We still need to respect this circle when we move, so rather than just adding the speed, we multiply the y position with the sign of this direction, and we multiply the x position. We take again the speed and multiply that by the cosine of this direction. Now we got moving in any direction. There's a problem here, we change the direction when they drop. So we don't want to check if y is bigger than the height. Well, yeah, that's maybe one way. We can also say or it's this y. They could also go upwards, it's smaller than zero. Or even say it could be the x position that was getting larger than the stage canvas width. Or the x position could be smaller than 0. If any of those happen, then the star would be outside the canvas. And we need to reset it to the center. So how do we reset to the center? Uh, we don't. We forgot about the center. Uh, we've got to remember it. So say this center x is x and this center y is y. And then when we reset the star, say this x is the center x and this y is center y. Now we've got kind of star field. Looks a bit odd. The stars are a bit too, a bit too big and a bit too sharp. So let's fix that. Start by setting the size. That could should be able to be anything from one to say five, and the speed will kind of be the same from one to five. Maybe even make it smaller. So. 0.125. So we got some slow stars moving. And we got some bigger one. They're still a bit too sharp. I want to make them like with a blurred outline. And we can actually do that because rather than using begin fill with a pure white color, CreateJS has this function here begin radial gradient fill that takes an array of colors, an array of radius and x and y and r uh, that's radius 
for one circle and x and y and radius for another circle. It's a bit complicated but it makes sense when you go through it I would say. So let's start with just copying all of this. Begin radiant fill. Pasting it in here. We want to begin a radiant fill. And then the first thing would be an array of colors. If we have color here red to blue, that's the color we want to fade from and to. And we want the colors to fade from pure white to the dark blue. So let's do that. An array here we have the white color we fade from and we fade to the dark blue color. And then we decide where should they be positioned? If we look again, here we say the radius, an array of gradient positions which correspond to the colors. 0 0.1 comma 0 0.9 would draw the first color to 10%, then interpolating to the second color at 90%. We want the white to be at 0% and the dark blue to be at 100%. So we add the array as in such, say, we go from zero to one. Let's move it a bit to the left here. Now we need to set this X and y center position of the inner circle that defines the gradient. That's where we want to start the gradient from. For us, since we want to fill the circle, it makes sense to have a circle of radius zero in the exact center. So that would be an x value of zero and y value of zero and a radius of zero. That's the one. Then we need the other circle the outer circle that defines the gradient it should be at the exact same position x and y but the radius should be the same as the size of our star so that would be zero point comma zero comma this size so now we have a gradient that goes from white at zero percent to dark blue at 100 percent starts in the center with a radius of zero and ends at again at the center with a radius of the same as our star size. Let's leave this one. Now we should be able to see now the stars are much more star-like. Star